What's going on guys? This is Taylor from the Southwest Wheel Warehouse. Today we're going to be looking at the VK13 ELE Auto. This can be our self-adjusting kit for a 5200 pound axle. See right here this box will get in. We've got our nice logo on it. We'll pull out our two smaller boxes that it'll come in. We can see this has got our true ride hub and drum in it with our six on five and a half bolt pattern and the way that we measure the five and a half will be from stud to stud across center to center. You can see right here it's got our races already pressed into it. So we have our backing plate and we can tell that this is self-adjusting by the cord that runs across. That's what holds our self-adjusting mechanism. Uh, the way that we tell left hand right hand on these is this sticker right here that'll tell us which side it goes on. We have all of our small parts. Right there, we got our other hub and drum and our other backing plate. So with this kit, we're going to get two hub and drums, a left hand and a right hand backing plate. For the inners, we're going to get the 25580. You can see that that just pops in right here. So we're going to get two of those. And then we're going to get two of these outers, the 15123s. And these are just going to pop in right there just like that. We're going to get two of those. And we have our mounting hardware for the brakes. Now with this mounting hardware, we're going to get the studs, the washers, and the nuts. These studs will actually go through the flange on the axle. And then we'll stick through the back just like that. And you put the washer on and the nut on on this side. We have our lug nuts. We're going to get 12 lug nuts. We'll just pop on right there. And we're going to get four seals. And the reason that we get four seals is two of these are going to be the two and a quarter. And two of them are going to be the two and an eighth. The two and a quarter are for the older style. And these thinner ones are going to be for your newer style. More than likely, these thinner ones are going to be what you need. Then we're going to have our caps. We're going to get four caps. Two are going to be these solid ones, just like this. This is just for the regular spindles. And then we're going to get two of these caps with the little holes in them. They come with these rubber caps. These are for the easy loop spindles, so you can just pop these caps off and move it up. We'll get two of these. And then we're going to get the hardware, the castle nut, the D-rings, and the tang washers. So we're going to get two castle nuts for the end of the spindle. We're going to get two washers, and these are just for the regular spindles. These tang washers are going to be for your uh, easy loop spindles. And you're going to get two of these. And then we're going to get two cotter pins. Most of y'all won't need these. Um, we like to send them just in case to make sure that you get everything you need. That's pretty much it, guys. That was the BK13 ELE Auto. 